are now watching The Beach. Well, it's that time of the year. Nintendo Direct rumors are rampant. And I gotta say, it's been a while since we've done Nintendo Direct predictions. You know, the last Direct was in February, and I gotta say, that Direct definitely holds a special place in my mind, even to this day, because not only did they deconfirm Mario Kart 9, but also we got Switch Sports, and also I saw the best reaction to any Nintendo Direct out of that. One guy who saw the Direct, he first saw Switch Sports, and when the logo appeared, he's like, Oh! Oh, please be on the tropical island. It's probably not going to be there, but I am. What are those mutants? And then when they revealed that the game is going to have free updates, he just goes on a tangent saying, you can't finish Wii Sports before asking for money? That's embarrassing. Oh, man. I just can't stand it with these Nintendo haters that just hate on everything. Yeah, I, I really know. don't Tell understand. It. Now, yeah. these people don't hate on Nintendo. They just dislike what they're doing. They just dislike Nintendo. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. But it's it's just, it, you know, it's annoying just because, like, I'm excited for it. Why can't you be excited for it, too? Now, you know what, what the I mean? hell are you excited for? Because I haven't heard you talk about any games other than Sonic for the past, I don't know how long it's been. Oh, well, there's a bunch of games, actually, that I'm looking forward to. Uh, I'm looking forward to, Spl to Splatoon 3, but, you know, I I'm aware that, you know, maybe not everything will be there oh, by launch. Up. but <laughs> Don't even suggest that. But anyways, we are going to do some Nintendo Direct predictions today. We don't know when the Direct's going to be. I heard that it would be on the 15th, and then they go back to say it's on the 29th. So, obviously, we got some pretty reliable sources right there. They oh, are yeah. about as reliable as the National Enquirer or the Onion, but still. So my first prediction is the new Donkey Kong that's been rumored. So Super Nintendo World opened at Universal Japan. It's going to open in Universal Studios Hollywood. And no, this isn't the same Hollywood near Dingo Studios. This is Hollywood, California. Although there is a Hollywood in Florida, but they already have one in Orlando. It's not Starbucks. It's Universal. It takes a lot of money to open a theme park. But with that being yeah. said, I feel like they could have a new Donkey Kong game to coincide with the theme park thing. As to what it'll be, I'm really not sure. But it's been a very long time since we got the last Donkey Kong game. And no, ports do not count as new games. I saw someone say that the Switch already has a game in every series, including the ports. And honestly, you know what I wanted to do after hearing that? What? I wanted to go to my freezer, get a jar of peanut butter and salsa... And make a music video talking about how <laughs> emo I am. <laughs> uh, I I don't think we're gonna get any Donkey Kong uh, announcement this year. Well, just for the fact, just for the fact that I've been predicting it for the last few directs, and they just haven't come true. So I'm not gonna hold my breath this time. Well, with Donkey Kong specifically, if you keep on guessing enough, you'll be a credible source when it eventually happens. But let's say it eventually happens. Do you think it's going to be a 2D game or a 3D game? I'm more on the line. I think it's probably going to be 3D, considering that there's been so many rumors about it for the longest time. And I know I like to joke about the credible thing, but I feel like that's the route they're going to go in. I mean, we've seen it with Mario, with Super Mario Odyssey. Mm -hmm. We just got Kirby in the Forgotten Land, which was not just an incredible step for Kirby, but that is one of the best Switch games. In fact... I'm very excited to make a video on it, considering that it'll essentially be the reverse to Meech's Fury. So, with Donkey Kong, I think <clears> the 3D <throat> platformer will be cool, but who would develop it is a question. Well, the rumor right now is that it's a it's EPD who's developing it, not Retro. And, uh, you know, I don't think anyone is really sure, like, if it's 2D or 3D. My guess... Um... <sighs> I don't know, because we barely know anything about this game. I'm leaning on the side of it being 2D, but I think it's going to be a reinvention of the Donkey Kong series. I yeah, think it's going to be so radically... Too. I think it's going to be radically different from the original Country series, and I think it's going to be radically different from Country Returns. I think we're going to see the return of the Kremlings and K. Rule for sure. Um, and if it's not 2D, I can expect kind of like a Crash Bandicoot-esque 3D platformer where it's linear, you know, and Yeah, not everything needs tight. to be open world. And I yeah. think for Donkey Kong, it definitely could work out being a little more linear. 
Kirby is For technically sure. linear, but it still has a lot of exploration and cool stuff you can do in the levels. It's a highly replayable game, and I think Donkey Kong would be the same. But I a do. Or go, I, go on. I, I do. I do think that. I do think that uh, the Switch needs some more original 2D games in terms of uh, first-party IP. I mean, we already because... had that on the Wii U, and I'm still feeling it. <laughs> I, I'm just saying, like, you know, Donkey Kong platformers are usually, like, phenomenal. Like, even better than Mario platformers. So, I think, I think I'm think i going to lean more on the side of 2D, but I'd love to be wrong for it to be a 3D platformer. Watch us both be wrong, and that new Donkey Kong ends up being a Donkey Kong Taiko no Tatsujin crossover. That'd be cool, though. I think the timing <laughs> would be bad. 3. No, there's actually a Donkey Kong 3. It was only released oh. in Japan. You didn't know that? Oh, I did. I, I meant Donkey Konga 4. Oh, shut up. You didn't know about it, and you just <laughs> wanted to get clout. Oh, I knew about it. I'm in the know. Who are you, a Nintendo insider? Anyway. Speaking of ins... Oh, yeah. insiders. What's about the insiders now? What's the inside information? I do have a few more predictions and such. Obviously, we're sure. going to get more information about Splatoon 3. I know you said it's probably going to launch without all the stuff. It's not going to be unfinished. I think at the worst, it'll be incomplete. But, you know, that's an industry term. The reason why yeah. we say incomplete yeah, it's, instead I mean, of unfinished has nothing to do with us being morons, but it's no. actually an industry term. I would like to bring up these two games specifically, because these have been hotly debated as to whether or not they're unfinished or incomplete. Nintendo promised more Switch Sports updates. We already know of two that are coming. And Mario Strikers updates, Mario Strikers Battle League. That's another game that people have been giving not so favorable reviews to it has a glowing 4.7 on metacritic's user scores which is not a good thing yikes but with switch sports obviously we have the leg strap compatibility thing because you know i was really having fun kicking around a giant pretend soccer ball like a buffoon where my neighbors are watching me through the window doing these kicking motions thinking that i'm gonna be part of the rockets or something like that even though I am definitely not qualified for that. I am a YouTuber. I'm not a mm -hmm. dancer. Although, we ever Just Dance, there's ever a Just Dance Trash or Treasure, it's going to be Just Dance 3. I know that for sure. But, yeah. obviously, we have the leg strap update. I think I think that's just hilarious. I, I can't get over the fact that they Shit. shipped a game with a pack and accessory <laughs> that doesn't even work day one. I mean, it technically does. Do you want to know how bad it is? It's literally just... It's literally just waggle controls on your feet. That's it. It's its literally that bad. And I just well, can't, get thing, o I can't get over the next... fact that they shipped that... <laughs> I mean, it's horrible. But it's hilarious no. at the same time. Next thing you know, they'll make a cardboard uh, Nintendo Labo uh, soccer ball from Mario Strikers. And you'll be kicking that ball all <laughs> types of places. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, but with oh, Switch Sports, I will say, this is not a joke. I think the cardboard quality of that box was the most impressive thing about it. Like, if you see the cardboard <laughs> box and you get a feel of it, it's robust. So they definitely recycled those Labo sets to good use. Oh, but Mario oh, yeah. Strikers... I mean, with Switch Sports specifically, I don't like the game. It's pretty obvious everyone knows that. But if you really think about it, Wii Sports is one of the most basic games of all time. And that's not saying it's bad. That's what makes it cool. It's a game anyone can understand. What it was, yeah. five sports that everyone knows that you play with motion controls. And it but has a selection of Miis and a skill level. Before you go on, I'd just like to say... Five motion-controlled sports. If they were just to do five motion-controlled sports and just that, how on earth did they screw it up as bad as they did? It's like watching Dimit Patrick trying to open the jar. They made the game as a service because, you know, I love to play Switch sports with the boys online, just like I do for Rocket League or Fortnite oh, yeah. or a game like that. <laughs> but my goodness gracious, I can't believe that that actually happened. I think Switch well, Sports, at this point, it doesn't even bother me. It's more of a meme. Like, it's more of a joke like Kablooey at this point. But Mario Strikers, yeah. going on to that, I know what they're going to do. They're going to have the direct. It's going to be like this. <laughs> do, 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 Oh my gosh! They have DC in the game! DC! Oh! 
You're gonna get those. Turtle! You're gonna get those totally not stage reactions when they say <laughs> Daisy's gonna be in the game. And you know what? They probably intended that because what kind of reaction are you gonna get for Koopa or Shy Guy? Not even Toadette <laughs> would get that reaction. I know Shy Guy. Shy Guy is a huge fan of Toadette. No, I'm pretty sure if Toadette was revealed and he was watching it, he's like, "Oh, here we go again." And then he's just going to be sad that Toadsworth is nowhere to be found, just like me and you. And pretty much, I would say most logical people miss Toadsworth. He was a cool character. He was a New Super yeah. Mario Brothers as the Toad House host, which was interesting. New Super Mario Brothers is very creative, and it doesn't often get the credit it deserves. We as well, and that's oh, yeah. definitely coming for a later video. But they're going to do that. They're going to have Daisy as a big announcement. You're going to have all those reactions, and I'm going to be fuming. And it's clear why they added Rosalina. Scott the Waz made a joke that they added her with the levitation ability in Ultra Smash to save on development costs. They clearly <laughs> did that with Battle League. And, you know, Nintendo is a multi-billion dollar company, but they got to save money and live better. But in the meantime, I'm getting hungry. So you know what? I'm taking up your McDonald's offer. It's actually on me this time. In fact... <clears throat> I've been so excited to go to McDonald's that I'm just going to say, Dun Dun Do! I'm so excited to go. Let's go. Mina Let's Shanka. Go. Dun Dun Do! Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Summer 2022 Nintendo Direct. It's been a while, hasn't it? Here's news for Mario fans. Many of you have been enjoying the Super Mario Odyssey game since its launch in 2017. We've decided to forget all about it and moved on to the defining Nintendo Switch Mario game, New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. We've been working on remastering levels from the Super Mario Run mobile app and we'll be releasing them as paid DLC under the New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe Marathon expansion. Please take a look. So, what did you think? Here's a bunch of JRPGs. Send them to the moon. Soda machine that doesn't work. Send them to the moon. Here's our last announcement. We are releasing the 10th generation of Pokemon in January 2023. Please be on the lookout for more information. Nintendo Direct's probably yeah. gonna happen. We don't know what the hell is in it. Goodbye. <laughs>